Okay guys, this is another RAM management review because some of you said that I'm trying pretty hard on the previous one trying to run three games simultaneously I don't believe there is such thing as pretty hard when you're using high-end device as this one should be but we're doing videos for you <coughs> so I'll comply with your requests and we'll do another one with um, not that heavy applications so Let's start. Right now I have opened all these apps. So let's start with app transition. And I think it's better than before. At least it's faster. There is kind of a lag, but it's effect more likely, not a lag. Anyway, I still prefer the Node 4 animation, which is really fast. But yeah, this one is definitely better than before. So let's just start switching between the apps. Let's say this one, DVC News. And uh, someone was asking about the scroll speed. So, it's not much to scroll here. Let's load more apps. Mm, it's okay. Looks okay. Okay, so let's switch to OneNote. We are not signed in, but still the app is running, loading pretty fast. And then go back to something else. Go back to BBC News, sorry. It is still there. Yes, it is. We want to sport a bit. So there is our S-Health opened. And let's find out the nearby buses. These are all preloaded apps because I don't want to waste time waiting until they load. They load. It's not that much time, but still. And we have a game open here because after all, we want to use multiple apps at the same time. And it's opened, let's just play and then minimize it and we'll see what's happening when we resume it in a bit. I would like to try this feature because I don't think we covered it so far. Hmm. Okay, okay. It is still there. It's a really good feature. I really love it on my note because the screen is quite big and it's useful to have two apps open and using them at the same time. It's work good. Is there anything new here? Not really. Oh, actually, I think that's new. Switching the app position, but I'm not sure. And anyway, the video is not about this. So let's just go back to our apps. Let's see what's happening with our BBC app. Is it still there? Not the Excel. I said the BBC. Oh, come on, my fingers are clumsy this morning. Yay. And yeah, it was suspended. I need to expand it again. Mm, that's not much of a pain because it's a really small one and you can open it really fast. But still, good to know. Let's check the piano tiles. I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh. Yeah, it was right where we left it. Okay, minimize again. And let's see what else we have open here. Spotify. Yeah, 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 I'm not going to log in, just showing you what's in here. Uh, go back to BBC, still working. Good. No, actually not. Okay, let's just open an article and... Yeah, yeah. Where is the maps? There it is. Okay, so I want to go to 
this place. But I'll be back to it later. Let's play a bit more. And back to reading our article. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what you're asking for. So please, please, please let me know in the comment section. That's what we're using in terms of memory right here. With all these apps opened. It's not showing all of them. But most of them, anyway. So let's see. We cleaned the RAM. 571 megabytes cleaned. 62% used by Android system and the UI on the background. And now let's see if we want to open all them again, how long will it take? Let's start with YouTube. Facebook. I'm just opening the app that we're going to well, at least I'm using on daily basis, and they are constantly on, on my phone. Mm. You know, this one is always here. So, we won't bother with it. Let's say some simple game. And... I think that's... That is what I'm sure using every day. Uh, I'm using the Google Maps as well, not very often. It still keeps our preset location. What else? What else? Let's open the camera up. Uh, someone says open phone up. There it is. It looks different. And hmm, H and M, for example. So we have now all this. Again, we said about this transition; it's not as smooth as we would like it to be. Still, it's better than before. Between up switching, it is fast and they are not often suspended so but i don't know what else to say if you're happy with this i'm glad if you're not just let me know what exactly you want to see and i'll make a video for it uh, scrolling speed i just want to show this uh, let's open what uh, let's yeah let's try BBC news and scroll so yeah that's the scrolling speed and loading speed I think it's pretty fast it's basically just immediately loaded and you can scroll to the bottom and the top again so that's covered as well anything else comment section as you already know so thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.